Today I'm going to show you how to make some cute beach themed resin earrings using UV resin and seashells. So first you want to place your bezels on your UV resin tape and press down firmly so that those will not leak through the bottom of the base. So now go ahead and fill a very little amount of UV resin in each of your bezels and take a toothpick and move that to the edges. The reason we want only a thin layer is because we don't want our seashells to float towards the top. This is going to ensure that they stay on the bottom base. Once you have spread out all of the resin, you want to take your toothpick to rise the bubbles to the top and get the bubbles away from the edges and then take a lighter and quickly go over your resin so that it will pop all of the bubbles. And sometimes there'll be a couple bubbles left, so use your toothpick to bring those to the top and then pop them. If not, the bubbles will be left in your final project. Also, another tip, see on my UV resin, um, the tape, I have paper on each end. That makes your tape easier to handle and makes sure it doesn't roll up on you. And it, it's really hard to work with if you don't have something on the edges. So I've got this huge pack of little seashells on Amazon, and I'll put the link in my description along with all the other things that I've used in this video. And then I'm going to place them top up. So the, the crease in them, they're gonna be on the bottom. That way you can see the outside of the shell. And the bottom four bezels, I'm going to fill them halfway full of seashells. And the top four bezels, I'm going to fill them completely full of seashells. The reason I'm doing it with the tweezers is because I don't want to get the resin on my gloves because once you have the resin on your gloves anything you touch gets resin on it and then you have a big mess so I'm trying my hardest just to use these tweezers to not make a mess <laughs> and there's some different types of seashells and different colors so if you're making a pair of earrings it's best to try to make them match as much as possible but of course, each seashell is different and unique, so it's not going to be able to match completely, but you need to get it as close as possible that you can. And some of them are really tiny, which work if you have a really tiny space to fill in. So this top one, I'm going to fill it all the way full. And I think this is what turned out to be my favorite just because it has a really neat texture, a neat texture on the top of it. I like the one that's filled completely with the seashells. Uh, leave a comment for me and let me know which one you like better. Do you like it half full of seashells or do you like the full version? This one did not want to go right side up. So I, I struggle getting that last piece in there. It kept flipping on me. So once you have those full of seashells, you're going to need to fill in your cracks with the UV resin just a little bit and then put your UV light on it for two minutes. What I'm going to do here is completely fill in almost to like a dome effect there on the top to give it that glass look on the top where it's only half full and then fill in any cracks that you see just to make sure those seashells are very well put in there and that they're not going to fall out. The top one is a little bit more difficult because there's just a few bit of gaps, but it's important to do that because you do want to make sure your seashells stay in place. And this UV resin is great. It lasts me a really long time and it's in a big thing of it and I'll put that link in the description as well and as always the toothpick comes in so handy in so many different resin projects I'm just working it into all of the gaps and once that's done you want to put it in the UV light for another two to three minutes and then what I like to do and anytime I use the UV resin tape is to flip it over and do the UV light again 
but especially in this project because those seashells will stop the UV light from getting to the back and that back of the resin won't be cured enough. So this is gonna help that cure. And then I'm gonna go an extra step and when I take them off of the tape, keep them upside down and then put the UV light on them again just to make extra sure that that resin has cured. I'm gonna do that with all of them and put it under the UV light for another two to three minutes. Then I'm gonna show you how to clean them up because sometimes that UV resin tape will leave a green sticky film on the back and you have to clean it up. I just used some basic rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip and I pour it into the lid because I just find that easiest. And I take the Q-tip and I really scrub the back of the earring to get all that tape off and sometimes even the edges where it could be on the ear. And this really helps finish off your project and make sure it doesn't have any of that sticky tape residue on it. You can actually see the residue in that clear part. So I really had to scrub there to get it off. And look how pretty they turned out. So what we'll do is we'll finish the earring by putting a jump ring on them and then the earring hook. And then take another pair of pliers and close that jump ring up. And you have a beautiful beach themed UV resin earring that was pretty simple to make. You can give it as a gift, you can sell it, or you can keep it for yourself. I really love how these turned out. I especially love them with the seashells filled up. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I have a ton more resin videos on my channel. They give you lots of ideas and I hope you have a blessed day.